Hello, do you have any advice for lasting longer without consistent sex or masturbation? I find that if I'm consistent in either activity every other day or so, I can make myself last 10 to 15 minutes. But if I take a break for not even a full week, I end up reaching a point of no return real quick, two to three minutes for the next couple of sessions. While I'm in this condition, pulling out and taking a break isn't helpful because I end up reaching that point again even faster after getting back into it. I've even been taking a month off before and I almost busted after going down on my gate. While she reached her orgasm, I'd rather not be in that situation again. Yeah, so you've got a... This is um, an interesting scenario. Like, you're, kind, you're doing the right thing by not, you know, jerking off all the time. And, like, the physical aspect of it is sort of reconditioning your, your body. Uh, the physical aspect of lasting longer is about reconditioning your body via deliberate masturbation through a thing called edging. So you're basically bringing yourself to the point of no return and coming down again. Now, this is something you can, you like, now I'm assuming when you say you don't have consistent uh, sexual interactions, that means you haven't got a girlfriend. It's just, these are like just girls you're seeing uh, occasionally or whatever. So it's going to be harder to kind of recondition properly when you don't have that consistent sexual access. So with you... I would actually say it's a bigger, a better strategy for you right now is probably going to be uh, brain chemistry. And there's a couple of things you can tweak. We actually have a supplement coming out in the next uh, quarter specifically for this because so many guys requested it. But to give you a bit of a sneak peek on what you can take that will help with this, basically you're, you're looking to adjust a couple of brain chemicals. One, you're looking to increase GABA. Uh, let me double check all of the different. We actually have, a, I have an entire like slew of notes on uh, on exactly this. So let me just give you a sneak peek on all that. There we go. There is start. There we go. Yeah. So things like taurine are very good for this. So taurine is building building block of GABA. Uh, a few other things that we want to use to increase GABA. L-theanine is good for increasing GABA. Uh, what, what else we got? We have vitamin B12 methyl co cobalamin, not cyanocobalamine, methyl cobalamin, is uh, very good for anxiety. These are all kind of related. Performance anxiety is, and busting early is related to anxiety and, and the chem brain chemicals, chemicals that cause anxiety. Like your main problem here, right, is you've got too, there's too much adrenaline, adrenaline in your body, too much cortisol. Uh, too much glutamate, possibly from mag uh, MSG, magnesium, magnesium soda glutamate, which is in fucking every bit of food in in North America at least. So cutting down on MSG is a big, big thing you could try as well with your diet. Uh, and the solution is increasing the GABA in your brain. That's kind of the real solution. Some people will uh, get over this problem by increasing serotonin. For example, people who are prescribed uh, SSRIs, this increases your serotonin in your brain. And what they find is that guys who take SSRIs uh, end up getting rid of their premature ejaculation problems. But now they're hooked on a fucking pharmaceutical drug, which is not a good thing. I do not recommend it. It is bad. It, like Increased serotonin levels can fuck up other things. Um, and you don't want to screw around with the dopamine levels too much because that can, that can affect other things. But basically, yeah, too much adrenaline, too much cortisol and not enough GABA. Those are your, that's the things you kind of got to work on. So L-theanine, taurine, these help with uh, increasing your GABA. Another couple of interesting things we're playing around with is Kana extract, MT55, and Rhodiola extract. Both of these things have been shown to increase GABA. And you can also try supplementing with magnesium glycinate because that is also very good at reducing uh, adrenaline. And the glycine is another calming neurotransmitter that is similar to GABA. So play around with some of these supplements. You don't need to try, just try one at a time. You might find like one or two of these will actually like fix your problem like that straight away. So give that a crack.